having a hard time right now. I've been trying to lose weight for a year now and I haven't been successful, although I haven't really stuck to a plan either. I have been, I've tried to work out and then I do it for like two weeks and then I can't do it anymore. And I try to eat better and then I'll go like a couple weeks and then I can't do it anymore and I'm very unhappy with myself. I just feel like I'm not even living life, I'm just existing in life and that's not what I want. I hit a milestone today. I am tired of the way I look. I am tired of my clothes not fitting. I'm tired of the way I used to look and how I used to feel now, how I look and how I feel. So I decided I was gonna make a change. I watched a video on YouTube of meal prep. So I, I meal prepped the whole week. I meal prep breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I've been doing it for, today would be day four. And I've already lost six pounds. And I know that's crazy. I was at 165 and I hit the 150s this morning. I'm 159. Oh, I've been trying to lose weight for so long. to lose weight I don't know how many times I've been trying for two years and nothing seems to be working and only one thing has really worked for me very well which is meal prepping and so I decided to start meal prepping again I did meal prep back in the beginning of June because I wanted to have the body by my birthday which was today and I got about two weeks in I think I lost like 10 pounds and then I kind of gave up which really sucks but I'm going to start again, and this time I'm doing it for real, and I say that every time, I know, but I'm tired of looking the way I am, and I just want to be back to my healthy weight, and meal prepping is what works the best for me, because I've tried like the whole keto diet, I've tried like no red meat, and only like veggies and chicken, and that's it, and that didn't really work out very well for me. And then I just tried eating on the healthier side and not going out so much. And then I realized there's a lot more to that. And so I have my notebook that I have kept everything in. I still have the receipts from the first two weeks that I did this. And I have, this is where it starts. And I like keep a log of everything, of my snacks. And so I just have this journal that I keep. And I got to, and I even had like hit workouts. And as you can see, I have like the scheduled days on when I'm supposed to do my hit workouts. And I got all the way down to June 30th. And then I was gonna weigh myself, and obviously I didn't because I didn't make it that far. I only made it in two weeks. And so this is my restart, and I just got a bunch of stuff from the store. And so I'm gonna start my meal prepping. So I'm just gonna kind of bring you guys along with me. I have a bunch of containers to do this with. I have about 15 of them, which should get me through all of my lunches and dinners for seven days. And they just, they look like this on the inside, so you put like your big stuff here, and then you put like your little stuff on this side, and then it comes with a lid, and then for my, so basically what I'm going to be doing is in the morning I'm going to be making smoothies, and my smoothies are going to go in these jars, and when I don't have these jars anymore, I'll use these, and these are the ones that actually go to my blender for work, which I work a lot at nights right now. And I'm hoping that's gonna change, but I do. I did buy a lunch box that I'm gonna put all of my containers in, which I do actually have one in here right now. And it fits in here quite perfectly, as you can see. It's like whoop, bam, and then the lid closes just fine. And I bought ice packs and everything, so this is like legit, like for sure gonna happen this time. Cause like I'm just so tired of trying and failing. And